do you stop this juggernaut? What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NBA. Here to talk about Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals between the Warriors-Rockets in which the Warriors took Game 1 in Houston once 19-106. to And it was a pivotal loss for the Rockets. I know it's just Game 1, but again, there goes home court advantage. So what the heck happened tonight for the Rockets? What adjustments do they need to make? Do they have a chance in this series or is it going to be pretty easily over? I picked the Warriors in 6, but again, is it going to go till 6? Breaking down all of that, of course, went right for the Warriors and wrong for them as well. So with that being said, let's get started. So before I start, I'd like to say, disclaimer, the Warriors are really freaking good, okay? that I just want to point that out there. The Warriors are really freaking good, okay? And tonight, you had KD put up 37. Didn't really give much on the uh, rebounding side and assist side as well, but put up 37. Uh, Clay Thompson came up big with 28 points. Um, Draymond Green, not really that big of a game, 5'9 nine, and 9. But again, they didn't really need too much from Draymond tonight. And then uh, Steph Curry had a okay game, 18, 6, and 8. Okay, So when you look at that, the big four and those scoring totals, you might think, okay, they didn't have the greatest of nights. I know KD went off, but again, Steph didn't have a Steph type of game. And Clay Thompson had a good game. Draymond was okay. Then you take a look at what the Rockets did, right? James Harden, 41 Four and seven, just completely one off. Okay, he was a an offensive juggernaut, offensive uh, mastermind in this game. Chris Paul chipped in with 23 points, 11 assists, and then uh, you had Clint Capella 12 for six. Okay, 12 and six. Okay, uh, so decent game. But Harden goes off. You look at Harden going off and CP3 having a very very good game, and then you take a look at what the Warriors did, and you might think, okay. We got what we wanted. Steph was off. I know we let one guy get off because you're not going to be able to stop all of them. But the Warriors still won by double digits. I mean, my God, what can you do at this point if you are the Houston Rockets? Okay, well, a couple of things here. The role players did not show up, okay, for Houston um, between P.J. Tucker, Trevor Reza, and Luke Richard Mamute uh, combined uh, nine points, okay? Uh, one for nine, I believe, from three. Mamute missed some easy bunnies, okay? He missed some point-blank layups, okay? So they were abysmal. Same with P.J. Tucker missing a few layups. So role players were not there. And don't give me the whole, um, you know, the Rockets played too much iso ball, which I will get to really quickly. So the role players didn't have any rhythm. No, the Rockets have been playing like this all year. The shots just did not drop for the Rockets role players. That will need to change, okay? So we take a look at that, and now let's talk about that iso ball, okay? So obviously in this game, you had two very different offensive strategies. You've got the Warriors team ball concept with a lot of passing, cutting that we're used to seeing. And then you've got the Rockets with their offensive style of iso ball, spread the shooters out, get into the paint. Either Harden's taking it to the bucket, either he's stepping back or he's lobbing it to Capella, or he's kicking it out to one of the three-point shooters, Okay. The offense works like it did tonight when the shots are dropping because every step back that James Harden took felt like it was going in, okay? Um, and I am not going to expect the Rockets to change up their offensive philosophy at all because they've been doing this all year. This is why they're a 65-win team. But I will say it's just so much harder to work on offense when you take a look at what the Warriors do on their offensive end and you're just like, my God, it just takes forever for the Rockets to get a shot and for the Warriors, they come down, boom, 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 and then they shoot and then they're in. So effortlessly uh, for the Warriors, it's it's a lot more, a lot less, I should say, effort versus the Rockets. Again, not telling the Rockets to change their offensive style because at this point you are who you are. And again, it did work. Uh, they were in this game for most of the game. It was a tie game, I believe, at halftime. So a very, very good offensive performance by the Rockets. And this is what they do. But just a quick note about how easy uh, it is for Golden State versus Houston when you take a look at their shot selection and uh, effort on, on those shots. So with that being said, let's take a look at defensively okay so this is where I feel like the changes need to be made for the Houston Rockets because defensively um, they were a bit abysmal okay and again James Harden is not the greatest defender in the world I don't think I'm going on a limb by saying that but he got cooked by Steph Curry repeatedly okay uh, I know Steph Curry was a little banged up today but again it's funny how you know every time Steph Curry doesn't have to have a great game the reports come out that he's banged up. I'm sure Steph was, you know, hurting a little bit, but I don't. He didn't look like he was that bad. Uh, but with that being said, you need James Harden to 
uh, at least do something on the defensive end. Again, is he using up all his energy on the offensive end? Yeah, that makes sense. But then again, you might want to, you know, have have the Rockets help him out by giving him more help defense and whatnot. So on the defensive end, it's just too easy, right? So um, I'd like to see more doubles with KD. Um, at this point, you got to just take a stand and, you know, pitch your flag into the ground at this point with who you want to take out as Warriors team. Uh, you want to make Draymond Green a score and you want to double team KD. And between Clay and Steph, you're just going to have to pick your poison on who you're going to let you know, kind of get more open, really, or who are just going to play more defense on, okay? Because at this point, they need to do that because, like I said, it's just too easy for the Warriors. And even if they did, they probably will lose the series because, like I said, the Warriors look like an offensive juggernaut, but you need to do something, okay? So on the defensive end is where they need to make these adjustments. Uh, maybe Joe Johnson might be coming off the bench next game. Who knows? Maybe he might need to get some minutes. But Ryan Anderson, I don't want to see him on the floor ever again, okay? He's just a defensive liability. Uh, Luke Richard Mamute, I know he missed easy bunnies today, like I said. The role players just have to be better. They just have to be better. Ariza, P.J. Tucker, and Mamute need to give him something on the offensive end because then you're just playing two on five, okay? So the role players need to step up. But other than that... I mean, is there really much more you can do against this team? So with that being said, um, my takeaways for Houston overall is the offense philosophy of ISO ball is probably not going to change. So that is what it is. Uh, maybe Tony can throw some wrinkles with a little bit more cutters, but I don't see that changing. Defensively, I'm going to need James Harden to do something on the defensive end, um, and I'm going to need the Rockets to get some more help defenders and make a commitment to who you are going to stick to on the Warriors and completely shut down, and then you just let the others get, the other guys get theirs, okay? So with that being said, uh, Houston, again, dropped game one at home. They, game two is a must win. I, I don't know how else to say it. It's a must win, um, or if this series could be quick work. As for the Warriors, I mean, like I said, what more can there need to be said um, for the Warriors, even on a night like tonight? Where, you know, it was a close game throughout, but then the Warriors did what they did and they ended up, you know, getting that double digit victory at the end. So if you're going to stay, you just do what you got to do, right? Because again, like I said, it worked out, um, but it does seem unfair, folks. Look, I might be overreacting a little bit, but this is just me. I, I will never forgive Kevin Durant. I mean, my God, this Warriors team is just too too unfair greatest team in nba history in my opinion and i don't think i'm overstating that um i think they are the greatest team in nba history and i know i say a lot of times we need to appreciate this, this and i am appreciating it but again sometimes as an nba fan it just gets hard because you're just like this team is just too unfair it's too unfair and that's just the bottom line everything i said houston can try doing let's see what happens but at this point again good offense to me, always beats better defense, but hey, that doesn't mean you're not going to try, right? So with that being said, that is what I expect Houston to do in Game 2. That's what I think they need to do in Game 2, make some adjustments on the defensive end, and let's see what happens there. But again, my prediction was Warriors in 6, and it is certainly looking like it is headed towards that or even shorter than that in Game 1. I expected Houston to win Game 1. They didn't do that. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you guys think... Uh, if you guys agree with me or disagree with me, what should the Rockets do? Can you stop this Warriors team? Is this going to be a sweep? Is it going to be five games, six games? Um, it was an exciting game. I hope it's a long, exciting series, but I have my doubts. Okay, with that being said, follow me on my Twitter. Links down below for both of those. Twitter, Instagram, all of that good stuff. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe.